much improved performance, Greg. Yeah, well, I'm looking at Wednesday night, and I think I said to you, in those conditions on Wednesday, we, you know, the players felt not as though, um, well, for 60 minutes I felt at Whitby, I thought we were very, very good, you know, and uh, they used the conditions better than us, and that was a difference, that was a difference. We come here today, you know when you play FC Files, they're on a great run at the moment in town, particularly at home, they've got, you know, I looked at their, their, their team and their bench today, and it's, it's, it's racked out with very, very good players for this level of football, so we knew that for 90 minutes everybody got to stick together. Two players I want to single out, Sean Kinsella and Danny Quinn. Um, both had an awful lot of criticism this season, you know, from me as well, and I thought they both worked very hard and were far more influential today. We set up exactly the same as they did. One main man up front, two wide lads and one in the hole. And Sean's job was basically, particularly in the first half, they, they tried to play from the back. Quinny sort of stopped one of them, but Sean was half stopping the other without... Uh, you know, without them getting through, because the, the last thing we wanted to do was get was let them get Barnes on the ball, because Barnes there old in midfield, and you know they, look, they do look to play through him, but we didn't we stop that, we didn't allow that, so we were happy from particularly first half to play along, and I thought Luke George and uh, Chris Flynn, if you look at the size of them compared to the size of Farrell, they won a lot of errors today, a lot of brave errors, and we picked bits up and we pressed them. Um, all through the first half, I felt we didn't give him any space. And when you come to t teams like AFC Files, you can't allow them to get on the ball and dictate the play. Because if you do, you're in for a rough afternoon. I thought first half today, um, you know, we, we pressed them very, very well, really, really well. And they made a couple of last ditch edits, the number two in particular, where Bottomer had put two really, really good crosses in. And the number two did very, very well at the back stitch, ready to away. So we made them defend as well. Um, then the goal came, and it's, that was a goal worthy to win any 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 game. You know, uh, you know, it, it, it did set up nice for John, but you know, he, he he got past his man and drove on and 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 scored. It was a fantastic strike. Well, we talked about Ibi Hassan's goal for for Whitby on Tuesday. In a lot of ways, that was John's goal was equal to that one, in in you know, in far better conditions. It was a super finish. Well, the thing is with that, the difference with, with Tuesday's goal is the fact that that lad's never going to score a goal like that again. John will do that. I've seen John do that lots and lots of times. But he hasn't done it enough this season. But to come in 1 0, you know, we were, you know, the lads have stuck together. I'm not going to pick anybody out today. It was a team performance and it had to be against a, an extremely good filed side. Second half, we knew Fylde had put us under a lot more pressure, which they did, but we, we coped admirably and probably could have had a second later on. They pressed on. I mean, they made all three changes. That gives you an indication of, obviously, Dave was fl getting frustrated with the way they, they, they were playing. But what we wanted them to do was actually play long, because we dealt with that all afternoon. They brought Dean on after 50 minutes. I didn't think he'd come on so quick, you know, and drop Farrell in the hole. Um, obviously, you know, that, that Dean's probably going to give you a little bit more experience up there. And I said to look at half-time, if Dean comes on, he's going to try and roll, he's going to lean in and use all his experience. And Luke... You know, for 19 years of age again, dealt with Dean very well as well. Um, you know, they kept moving Barnes around from left to right, brought McCarthy on. Um, I actually thought the number 14 who came on booth, I thought he actually, you know, come on and, and made a little bit of a difference for them. Um, you know, so um, they made changes. We had to change that because we got a lead to hold on to. Having said that, Bottom has got to take that chance. You know, Winch Clifford already made his decision to go down. He's only got to clip it over and it's 2 0. But, you know, having said that, you know, it's, 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 it's like everything, it's, it's, it's a, team, a team event and um, there's no individuals who have won this game today, it's been a team event. Well, after the last couple of weeks, it's nice to see you smiling on a nice sunny day and it just shows what this team's capable of. We've been saying it for weeks, haven't we, that we know what they're capable of, but we also know, you know some of the poorer performances. It's not been enough in. and I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it down to this because they knew today that the, the, the mental strength had to be right. And it was for 90 minutes. We didn't switch off. We hit the bar. We had a little bit of luck there, There's, you know, just before Bottomer got in with the second chance. But I just felt AFC filed off and puffed a little bit today. I'd, they've not played well. But we said that's down to us. We've played well today, you know, and um, we've made them give the ball away. We've made them play long because of the way we, we set up. But I wish them all the best because it's, it's a very, very good club here, run by a great manager, and you've got a good bunch of lads. and. Um, I hope they, um, they, they cement the place in the uh, playoffs. Going back to us, I think it's a mental thing, Gary. I, I'm, I'm sure about that. You know, the last three games we've, we've, you know, we've lost at Stocksbridge, Blythe, and 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 uh, obviously Whitby. You look at those three teams against Fylde, and there's no comparison.
but today we've turned up today and done done a, a, a solid job on an extremely good footballing team. And the cup semi-final to look forward to Tuesday. And it's a case of no complacency and go out because Broxton are going to Broxton are going to have to be beaten. Yeah, I think we'll have to we'll have to make a couple of changes. The fact that Peter's got a problem with his groin, I don't think he'll make it um, on um, on Tuesday. Christian Smith will, will come back from Telford. Um, he'll be able to play in that because he's served his suspension with Telford now. So, you know, he'll be a, a great, great addition to, to the squad. But apart from that, I think we'll be okay. Uh, Casimir serves his last game for suspension. <coughs> you know, when you look at Quinn today, he's had different partners with him up front this season. And he hasn't worked as hard with the partner. Today, because he's up there on his own, he's had to work. And he's shown a different side to me. This last couple of three weeks, you know, he's... If he's not scoring, I've been quite critical of him. The fact that if he's not scoring, he's no, he's not, he's no, he has no bearing on the game for us. But today, he did very, very well up there on his own. So I'm, uh, I'm delighted for him, but I'm delighted for the, uh, for the, for the team. Cheers, Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.